we come from one special award to the next special award, and it has been a, a good tradition that within the Bobs uh, we have a special award done by the Reporters Without Borders. And uh, Christian Mir, Christian, where are you? There you are. Wonderful. Could you just come to my side? Because he is the representative, the new representative of uh, Reporters uh, Without Borders in Berlin. You've just uh, arrived here, yes, from yesterday from Berlin. You've been sort of uh, at the media forum already. And um, I have actually done what you probably haven't had time to do. Um, the um, Reporters Without Borders have something that's called a press freedom barometer, and it doesn't read uh, too well for this year. Uh, maybe you can actually read my writing? Well, yes, I can read. It's even better than my writing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my, mine I cannot read sometimes. Um, this year in 2012, actually, it was a very bad year for press freedom and it's still going on a very bad year. This year we killed 29 journalists worldwide, 12 were um, net, citizens. net citizens among those. And um, lots of journalists and bloggers are detained, but I think the most important number for us is this year, 29 journalists have been killed. And um, that's actually a big number comparing to, to last year in the same time. Um, so that we expected probably this year there will be more journalists and bloggers killed than in the last year. We have a special attention. Uh, of course, we have one awardee um, whose concern is Syria. Um, do you share the concerns about Syria, about the net citizens, about the citizens as well? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Actually, Bashar al-Assad, the president of Syria, is one of the enemies of press freedoms and one of the predators of press freedom. Reporters Out Borders every year publishes special reports on cyber censorship and the internet. And there we heavily criticize and accuse Syria and Bashar al-Assad on um, penetrating uh, press freedom. And right now there are more than s at least 30 journalists and bloggers and netizens um, detained. And in the last 15 months, lots of journalists have been killed. The numbers are varying, so I don't want to say any numbers. But what we know among those killed journalists were at least four foreign reporters as well. And so we are very, um, yeah, you, you, very sorry about the situation in Syria. Last question, and uh, then I'll let you do your job, your <laughs> proper job. Um, is there a distinction uh, from your point of view between what you call in term net citizens, those people that are sitting there, and uh, inverted commas, proper journalists? Well, I don't think so, because for, for us the main difference is we, we we are dealing with journalism. Journalism could happen on blogs, could happen on, on websites, could happen on printed newspapers. So for us, we we care about journalism and journalists um, Yeah, could be on the internet on, on the printed paper. Thank you so much for the short interview. Whilst you find your space there, ladies and gentlemen, we of course have prepared a film to introduce this category as well. The Reporters Without Borders Award goes to Abu Sufyan's blog. Abu Sufyan is a Bangladeshi blogger. We chose his work because of the extremely brave uh, and important work that he's been doing. He's highlighted issues of extrajudicial killings by the state and also reported on murder and harassment of journalists. What he's also been able to do is to mobilize the blogging community and get them to take action ensuring that there is accountability and transparency by the state. Yes, I'm very happy to hand over this year's Bob's Award in the Reporters Without Borders category to Abu Sufyan, Bangladeshi journalist. <laughs> Bangladeshi journalist Abu Sufyan's blog about extrajudicial executions and other kinds of injustice is a jury choice in the Reporters Without Borders category of this year's Bob's. It was chosen because Bangladeshi mainstream media have mainly backed off the topics of his blog, often saying it's too dangerous, and this one man who's putting his own life at risk to cover these killings. Abu Zafion's blog was chosen from 11 finalists by the international jury. Uh, among the jury was my dear colleague, Lucy Morillon, who unfortunately could not attend uh, the session today. 
Although the Bangladeshi constitution guarantees media freedom, a series of draconian laws enable the government to control the media. The main obstacles to media freedom stem from the rivalry between the opposition and the government, which often prevents journalists from doing their very important job as you do, Abu. The Rapid Action Bataillon, a special crime prevention unit, as well as security agency are responsible for acts of intimidation against journalists. So, unfortunately, life is not easy for journalists in Bangladesh, which is ranked 129th out of 179 countries in the Press Freedom Index Reporters Without Borders is publishing every year. And violence against journalists and bloggers has worsened this year. The editors of two newspapers were recently threatened with death reprisals. Privately owned TV stations are harassed and the authorities did not hesitate to threaten journalists in March. At least nine journalists were recently injured in May when a group wielding machetes attacked the newsrooms of the BD News 24 website, the website actually his blog is published on. Abu Sufyan's reporting has included coverage of last February's murder of husband and wife journalist Saga Sarova and Mehrun Rouni, which has prompted unprecedented protests and joint demands for justice by Bangladeshi journalists and bloggers. He is also campaigning for a right to access to information that such a law would force the Bangladeshi government to be more transparent. So, Abu Safian, we want to thank you for your very important work, risking your personal life in the name of freedom for information and press freedom. We are very honored to have you here tonight in Bonn, and I wish you good luck for your future work, and just say congratulations in the name of the Bob Story and the name of the Reporters Without Borders. Thank you so much, Christian. And of course, Christian, you have the beautiful duty to hand over the award. So and only if the photographers are happy can we proceed. Give us that smile, that beautiful smile <laughs> that I've seen earlier. Um, Abu, when we talked earlier, I asked you, reporting on dangers to journalists who are trying to find out things that some people think they shouldn't, doesn't that put you yourself into danger? Yes, uh, in Bangladesh, uh, it is not easy to work uh, in uh, different uh, arenas uh, because uh, our uh, sometimes our law enforcing agencies and uh, politi politicians uh, do not uh, take our report uh, in uh, in an easy way. But uh, one has to take challenge, and I am doing this. We have uh, heard that the blogosphere in Bangladesh has been growing, and um, those atrocious killings um, that you have really reported on uh, in your blog, but also tried to report in other media, has that marked a changeover for general interest because it was so awful, so atrocious? Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if, uh, we, if we talk to about our uh, couple journalists, murder, Shagur and Rooney, uh, our, the uh, bloggers of Bangladesh uh, uh, at a stage uh, took to the street and staged a demonstration and uh, they demanded the uh, uh, speedy trial and justice of the uh, killing. Uh, and uh, this created a huge uh, reaction among the people, among the bloggers and journalists also. Those two journalists, husband and wife, were found the next morning by their five-year-old son. What does your son say when you put out news that is definitely not a joy to many people in authority? Yes, uh, as I'm an investigative reporter and uh, a crime reporter, uh, sometimes uh, I have to face a uh, threat by the rapid action battalion and uh, anonymous uh, phone callers. Uh, but my, uh, why, sometimes my wife used to say, please stop this, otherwise you will be assassinated anytime. But my son said, I love you, you are a brave papa. Thank you. Not just a brave papa, a great journalist, a great blogger. Thank you so much.